Hey everyone, welcome back and we're going to start a new unit and this one's on measurement and we're going to look at different units of measurement uh, throughout this unit. Today we're going to talk a lot about rectangles though and so I have a rectangle sitting there and I'm going to ask you what is the perimeter of this rectangle, what is the area of this rectangle and how do you know? Now I think we need to do some some review here. A perimeter, if you don't, if maybe you're sitting there like, oh my goodness, perimeter, area, I don't remember this. Um, these are some topics you probably encountered in grade four, so maybe we should do a little review. Perimeter is the distance around an object or a shape. And we need to report the unit being measured if it, one is given. So let's assume for this case that each one of these squares is one centimeter. They're one centimeter um, grid. We could say it's meters or kilometers, I guess, technically, but we'll call it one centimeter. Now, I need to counter out the objects. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh, same. Let's guess. Give me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, something you should maybe remember from your primary days that a rectangle has two sides the same and the other two sides the same. And so we need to add these all up. We're going the distance around the shape. And so I have an eight and eight and a six and a six. So eight plus eight is 16. Six plus six is 12. And that is a grand total of 28 centimeters. You must put that unit. I gave you the unit as centimeters. Therefore, that is the unit. Now, area is the, is the measurement we take inside the object. We're trying to measure all of this inside. And we use... Um, length times width. We multiply this times this. We don't need to multiply all four. We just multiply one side by one side. And so you might see me say length times width equals uh, your area, A for area. And so here, and this is good practice writing the formula down. So the length, um, and it really doesn't matter which is length, but usually the longer side is the length. Eight times six is 48 centimeters. Now, we don't just say centimeters because we're talking about square centimeters and we say square because we're, we're measuring in two different directions. We have to put this little two um, on, on the side and, and you can see it looks a little bit better there. Um, this would be 48 centimeters squared. Get you to try that out. I want you to find the perimeter and the area of this rectangle. Pause it, come back when you're ready. It's been a while, huh? Okay, so let's find the perimeter first. We have two here. That means there's two here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that means there's twelve on this side. Again, let's assume these are all one centimeter, so I should have said that. Um, so we're going to add two plus two is four, plus twelve plus twelve is twenty-four. Interesting we got the same perimeter as the last example, 28 centimeters. But let's talk about the middle part, the area. We're gonna do length times width equals the area. 12 times two equals 24 centimeters squared. Okay, so in this lesson, the point of the lesson is you can have a rectangle with an equal perimeter. You can have more than one rectangle with equal perimeters, but they have different areas. So each of these rectangles has the same perimeter of 18 centimeters. If you don't believe me, let's talk about this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there's one here. So eight, one, eight, one. Uh, 18, eight plus eight is 16. One plus one is two. 16 plus two is 18. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Means that's seven. Seven plus seven is 14. Two plus two is four. 14 plus four is 18. Are you starting to believe me now? Okay, so the point here is you can have different rectangles that have the same perimeter, but the middle is different. And so the we're gonna be looking at also, you know, out of all of these rectangles, which one has the greatest area? Now the hint is the one that has the least width, the one that's the skinniest, like uh, the red one up there, that will only have the least area. But if you're getting closer to the closest one that looks like a square has the greatest area. Okay, that's the point. 
Now, something we should probably talk about, and this is maybe to save you some time because you're going to be doing some guessing, um, a lot of guessing and checking in this type of work here. Um, if you haven't figured out, there is a way of figuring out the perimeter of an object without counting all the squares. And all you have to do, you do have to find the length times the width, so you have to count two sides. But if you notice, I have, let's say, um, for the green one, I have a 2 and a 2 and a 7 and a 7. Okay. So in a sense, I have two widths and two lengths. And so I could say 2 lengths times two widths equals my perimeter. And so if I just plug that in, so two times um, seven plus two times the two, this will be 14 plus four, that gives me my 18. And the reason I'm telling you this is I'm gonna be giving you some, some questions I say I want all the rectangles with this perimeter how are you going to do that without guessing and checking so I want to save you some time so let's draw all the possible rectangles with perimeter 20 centimeters which has the greatest area now I could be just drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing and trying to figure this out but um Maybe we could do some guessing and checking just from this. So let's say I wanted uh, a, a rectangle with a, a width of one, okay? Um, this is one side, I haven't got to the other side. So remember two times length time plus two times width equals the perimeter. Let's say that this, this is my width. So I'm gonna put in um, two times one, okay? That means that um, somewhere down the line, there's another one. Well, two times one is two, and I want 20. Now, what does that leave me? If I have two already used, remember it's a distance around uh, the shape, I have 18 left to work with. So that means two L plus two is 20 centimeters. Well, if I wanna know what two lengths is, I have two of them. I only wanna know the sides. I wanna know one side. So that means I can divide it in half. I, I told you I had 18 left to deal with. Somehow that 2L is equal to that 18. What if I cut that 18 in half and get nine? Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I can complete my rectangle. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's check our work. One, two, that means this is nine. Uh, this is one, this is one. So if I add this all up, uh, nine plus nine is 18, plus one plus one is two. That equals 20 centimeters. Now, what is the, the area of this? Well, area, remember, is length times width. So nine times one equals nine centimeters squared. Sorry, it went off the screen there. Nine centimeters squared. Now that's one rectangle. What if I wanted to do one with a width of two? Well, I could go like that. But now I have to start guessing again. Um, how far do I go? So remember, if you use this formula, so two times two, there's two of them, is four. I still need that 20 centimeters. That means um, there's 16 more left to deal with, 16 centimeters left, 16 um, left to deal with. If I cut that in half, that's eight. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all the way there. Sorry, my board's a little off. So eight and two, eight and two, eight plus eight is sixteen. Two plus two is four. That's twenty. Now the area is eight times two, which is sixteen centimeters squared. Already we have a, a rectangle that has a larger area. Now again, do we want to keep guessing and checking? Well, let's do three three and how far am I going well three times two let's remember t we're doing this formula three times two we're doing three now is six again I want to get that 20 I have six that means 20 minus six is 14 I have 14 left to deal with it's a distance around the object I need two lengths let's do 14 cut it in half 14 divided by two is seven so I need to do well this is really off two three four five six seven um, so three and seven, so seven, three, the middle is 21 centimeters squared. 
Huh, okay. Now, I don't know if you notice a pattern here. Maybe I could draw you a chart. So the length and the width. The first one had um, a length, let's say, of nine, a width of one. The second one had a length of eight, width of two. We have uh, a, a length of seven and a width of three. Are you starting to see a pattern here? Can we assume that the next length would be six and the next width would be four? Let's try it. Let's just try it. One. I find the lower I go down my board, the, the worse the alignment is. So let's just assume that's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Complete that rectangle. That's a six, six, four, four. Let's test my theory. Six plus six is 12. Four plus four is eight. 12 plus 8 is 20. That works. Our area is 24 centimeters squared. What do you know? Okay, so we could also just look at the area. We could make another graph here. 9, 16, 21, 24. Is there possibly having another one? Well, this would be 5 here and this would be 5 here. Um, now, what's cool about this one, this will make a perfect square because all sides are equal. 5 times 5 is just simply 25. So it just squeaks through as definitely the largest rectangle. I don't have to, I don't have room to draw it. But what we're doing here is we're noticing patterns. We're using formulas. Now, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. But it might save you some time because you might just be drawing random rectangles and you're just hoping and praying that it will equal the perimeter that you were given. Okay. Um, let's try the next one here. I want you to try this. All rectangles, all possible rectangles with a perimeter of 12 centimeters. Which one has the greatest area? Pause this, try it out, guess and check possibly, use that formula, you know, two times the length plus two times the width will equal the perimeter. You want this perimeter, two times length plus two width equals 12. That's what you're looking for. So pause it, come back when you're ready. Now, I'm not a person that likes to guess and check if I don't have to. I don't want to be drawing random rectangles all day. So if I know the answer has to be 12, let's start with one as a width. Um, I always recommend that. So one times two is our width, okay? Um, two. That means I have 10 left to deal with because 12 minus two is 10. I have that 10 as my 2L. I'm going to divide that in half to get 1L. That's a 5. So let's try this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we had a width of 1, remember? So 1 and 5, 5, 1. Um, 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 plus 1 is 12. So this is 12 centimeters. And let's find the area. 5 times 1, we have an area of 5 centimeters squared. That's one rectangle. Now, maybe we should build our chart again. We have, we had the A, we had a length, and we had a width. So we had a length of five, a width of one, that gave us an area of five. What if we did a width of two? Now, if we have a width of two, maybe I'll use a different color here. We have a width of two, that means 2L plus 2W equals 12. My two W is going to be 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 equals 12. I still have that 2L to deal with. Well, remember it's a distance around an object. I have 12 centimeters I need. I've already used up 4. What's left? 12 minus 4 is 8. That means to get 1L, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So let's draw a rectangle with um, a length, uh, a width of 2 but a length of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, two, two, four, four. Eight, four plus four is eight, two plus two is four, eight plus four is 12. That's gonna work, so maybe I'll put my four in here. But I have a, uh, an area of eight centimeters squared. Two times four is eight. Okay, let's keep this going. Um, can we assume maybe there's a pattern, this is a three and this is a three? Well, that's three, that's three, 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 um, three plus three and three plus three, or three times four is 12. 
and the area in the middle is 9 centimeters squared, so that would work. Now, if the pattern continued, we're going to get um, 2 here and 4 here, but we already have that rectangle. So we have done all the possible rectangles for 12 centimeters of a you know, perimeter of 12 centimeters, and the greatest area would be this guy here. Uh, a perimeter of 12, three on each side. He is the greatest, or she is the, you know, I'm not sure if there's a he or she rectangle, but um, that is the greatest area. Okay, so in this lesson, we are looking at rectangles with, with the same perimeter, but we have different areas. And we're looking at different ways to find all these different rectangles. So you're given a perimeter. What are all the different rectangles that you can make with that perimeter? And then what is the greatest area? Please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.